let's go to decimals. Okay? Decimals. Wala naman kasi sa decimals kasi, number one, for addition and subtraction, all you have to do is what? Is just to align, align the decimal points. Then do the indicated operation. Okay? So what, do, uh, what shall we do with this? Okay. All we have to do is to, mas madali ang addition and subtraction ng pa-vertical. Okay? So 23.6, then 1.75. Okay? Take note na magkakahilera yung mga decimal points. So 300.002. Then you do the normal operation. So that is 2, 5, um, that's uh, 13, carry 1. Eh, diba, natatala nyo, carry 1. So that's 5, then 2, then 3. So 325.50. Okay. Yes, great. Okay. Now, um, same with subtraction. 78.9. Minus 37.43. Okay. For no no problem. Okay. Lagyan lang ng zero. Okay. So the answer is, uh, mga cancel-cancel na yan. Oo. So magi 8. At tapos talaga ng 1 here. So that will be 7, 4.1, and then 41.47. Okay. Lagi lang tatandaan na ganun. Now, what if multiplication? Multiplication kapag, do the normal operation. Just do the normal operation and then the number of decimal places of the factors must be the same with the product. Okay? So 40.012 uh, 40 times 3.1. So uh, that's um, 40.012 times 3.1. Okay? Um, wag nyo, i neglect nyo muna yung, yung decimals. Yung decimal. Okay. You just do the normal operation. So, 40.01, 40.012 times 1 is just the same. 40.012. Okay. Then, multiply it by 3. Then, this will become 6, 3, 0. And then, 0. And then, 12. Right? And then we have this 2730412. Okay? Tapos ilan yung ano? Ilan yung de bibilangin ng decimal places. So dito sa taas 1 2 3 sa baba 1. So that's 4. Ang bilang 1 2 3 4 and then yun. Okay. 124.0372. Okay. Great. Okay? Questions? Questions na? Okay. Division. Okay. Division. Kapag division, ano siya? Okay. Make sure that divisor is a whole number. Okay. Kapag hindi, gawin mong whole number. Then do the normal operation. Okay. So in this case, 26 divided by 0 0.0002. So that is 26 divided by 0 0.0002. Okay. So, gagawin whole number. So, paano siya gagawin whole number? So, ang mangyayari niyan, um, move the decimal point how many places? Hanggang sa maging, hanggang sa maging whole number. Okay? Ilang, ilang, ilang movement? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4. So, ganun din ang number of decimal movement sa loob or the, the dividend. So, magiging 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, apat na zeros. Okay, then that's it. So 20 is divided by 2, then that's 13. No? 13. Kaya lang, meron pa ditong apat na zeros. So idadagdag mo yung apat na zero. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ayun. So ganyan siya. No, uh, no, um, Christine, it's, <laughs> hindi siya 30. 13. Kasi nag-move na tayo ng decimal point. So, meaning magdadagdag tayo yung zero. The, the, the decimal point, the, the, the new placement of the, the decimal point is four zeros after. Okay? So, nandito na siya. So, 
dahil meron pa tayo. Yan. Very good. Great. Okay? O, isa pa. 5 divided by 1.25. So, that is um, sa, nasa loob si 5 and then 1.25. Okay, so 1.25. So, gagawing whole number. Gagawing whole number, no? So, that is two decimal places. Two decimal places then. So, nandito ang decimal point. So, magiging, instead of 5, magiging 500. Okay? So, ilang 125 meron sa 500? That will be, that will be 4. Tama. 4. So, so that's 500. So, that is 0. So, the answer is 4. Okay? Questions? May tanong pa sa decimals? Mm -hmm. May tanong pa sa decimals? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you some tip on, on multiplication. When when you num when you multiply a number by five, divide it by two, then multiply it by ten. Oh, oh, sige, mamaya tayo sa conversion of decimal to fraction. Okay, when you multiply it by five, divide it by two, then multiply it by ten. Example. Um, 12 times 5. Magsimple muna tayo. Uh -oh. Kalahati ng 12, kalahati ng 12 is 6, right? So the answer is 6. Tapos multiply it by 10. Pag nag-multiply tayo ng 10, you just add 0. So then the answer is 6. Ganun lang siya. One, again. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, let's say 19 div 19 times uh sige 20 um sabihin natin 23 23 times 5 kalahati ng 23 kalahati ng 23 is 12.5 right 12.5 tama ba tama ba hindi Okay, kalahati ng 23 is 11. 11.5. Sorry, 11.5. It's 11.5. Okay. Then multiply it by 10. Okay. I'd be 150. O, ganun lang siya. Okay. Ganun lang siya. Yes. <clears throat> Tama ba? Tama. 150. Okay. Um, another tip... <laughs> Okay, another tip, you can do divide and conquer. Tips on division, you can do divide and conquer. Why? Kapag ganyan, you can, ang bawa, 84 divided by 12. 84 divided by 12. Alam mo, divisible siya na. Ang 24 divisible ng 12, right? So, ang mangyari niyan, so you can divide 84. You can divide 84 by 24 at saka ng, para mag-84, ilan na lang kulang? 60. Right? 16. So, ang mangyari niyan, uh, 24 divided by 12, 60 divided by 12. Uh, 24 divided by 12, that's that's 2. Okay? 60 divided by 12 is 5. Then, syempre, pinaghiwalay mo, hindi pagsamay mo ulit, 2 plus 5, that is 7. Pwede siyang ganun. Mm -hmm. 175 divided by 25. You can you can split 175 into 175. Mas madali yan. Diba? Divided by 25, divided by 25. You can have, um, this is um, 4. 100 divided by 25 is 4. 75 divided by 25 is 3. So 4 plus 3, that is 7. You can do, you can do divide and conquer. Okay? <laughs> uh -oh. Or, Pwede mo rin paghati-hatiin yung divisor in such a way na 25, 175 divided by 5, then divide by 5 ulit. Okay. You can do 84 by 84 divided by 4, then divided by 3. Just the same. Just the same. 